Food giant Nestle has a lot of cash on its hands. The food giant reports on Wednesday. We partner now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Louise Lucas joining us now live from London. So, Louise, ahead of Wednesday, what are investors expecting from Nestle? Investors are expecting Nestle to come out with perhaps around about 6% um, organic growth in sales. That would be a slight deceleration from the first quarter, but still, still pretty respectable um, innings, particularly when you look at the pressure the food companies are under, a lot more spending on advertising and promotion um, and so on. Nestle is in a little bit more of a comfortable situation, though, is it not, Louise, than many of its competitors? I mean, it has a lot of cash on hands. Well, this is the thing that investors are really going to be interested in. They're coming into about $28 billion of cash um, as a result of their sale of their stake in Alcon. The question now is going to be, what are they going to do with that money? How are they going to spend it? The company said they will not necessarily use it to pay down debt. They expect the net debt levels to be much the same as they were at the end of 2009. Um, equally, we know they're not big spenders. We can't really expect to deal along the lines of Kraft Cadbury. Um, they tend to do smaller, sort of $3 billion a year type of deals. Um, so it does look that what's going to like what's going to happen with this cash is more if it's going to be handed back to, to investors through dividends, through share buybacks like we've been seeing in the last couple of years. Louise, we're going to look for those results on Wednesday. We thank you so much for the preview. Louise Lucas joining us there from the FT in London.